It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like this, kids like me should be spending every last penny they have on anime. I'm talking plushies. I'm talking figurines. I'm talking whatever the f this is. Take my money, Japan. Take it all. So, to those of you who didn't immediately click off this video, it's good to see you, and thanks for sticking around. Also, this guy that you're about to see, yeah, him, that's Nikolai. Keep that beautiful face in mind because he'll be coming in every once in a while. Anyway, today we are exploring Akihabara, located in the center of Tokyo, uh, and if you don't know, Akihabara is considered by just about everyone here to be Japan's electronics and anime capital. From arcades, to manga, anime figurine stores, to the, and I kid you not, hundreds of maid cafes that line these streets, it truly has it all. And no, before you ask, I didn't go to a maid cafe. Yet. Moving on, we got to Akihabara with no real plan at all. So we just kind of walked around a bit and all got lost together. The cool thing that they do on Sundays is that they block the roads so that people can just walk the streets freely without having to worry about any cars at all. Oh, Nikolai, found him. There was only really one thing we all wanted to do, and it was probably the least financially responsible thing we could do. The crane game specifically is what we were after. These bad boys cost 100 yen per play, which is about 75 cents, and they are a deceptively difficult. You'll notice that every prize looks like it's just about to fall down, but it can take tens of tries just to move it even slightly. Now, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but at our hometown, we're kind of clean at the crane games. I'm talking each of us walks out with at least one or two figures every time we visit. So with our inflated egos, we decided to hit up the big boy arcades in Akihabara show the Japanese the proper way to win these machines. Here's how it went. I fucked up. I thought that these was too fast as well. It's hanging on. Oh. One more try, one more try. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no. You see what addiction is like. <laughs> it's like drug addiction. Mm. Let's go. Look at the hand movements. Whoa. Look at the hand movements. Oh God, that's so fast. Good job, you did nothing. <laughs> and the audience laughs. We try again. Let's try, second time. Second time. Here's it from the back. Then do shit. No, it did, it did, look, 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 it almost. Almost there, it's almost there. That's denial. <laughs> the, fi the first of five stages of grief. <laughs> That's all sad. Yeah, you should give me uh, this phone more often to be a commentator, bro. I'm so good at this. Holy shit. I know, right? Doesn't yeah, that look like it's ready to go? Action. That was <laughs> straight up bad. Check this out, though. I'm checking this out. Uh, 
That was so sad. Better to just give a... Oh, oh no. he just put in more money. Oh no. This is a sign, this is a sign. This is the second sign. <laughs> well, that didn't matter for him. So we go now. Means go for it if you want. And there go more money. I think I'm gonna give Oop, up. Sorry. I put my finger on it. <laughs> Alright, I think I give up. I, I don't know if there's any way to win that. Do you give up? I think so. I failed. Yes or no? Yes. We stop video. This arcade destroyed our hearts, our wallets, and most importantly, our dignity as Crane gamers. We didn't walk out of there with a single figurine, except for Nikolai, who won those two plushies in the beginning. But it wasn't just us, we saw countless other victims that day, to what I can only describe as the most sinister tourist trap in all of Japan. We decided to cut our losses, drop the Crane games, and just go and explore the city and see what else it had to offer. When we finally got our fill of anime, we all decided to treat ourselves to some local fine dining. This is also what their menu looks like if you were wondering how different it was from America. Personally, I got the limited time burger for the mid-autumn uh, moon viewing festival, but the only real difference from like a normal burger was that they just slapped some egg and ham slices on it. Uh, still overall pretty good. After eating, one of our friends wanted to see if we could make it to the roof of one of these buildings just for a quick photo shoot. So we decided to just find the nearest random building, kind of walk in, pretend like we knew the place, and see how far we could make it up. Oh my 
Bana ne kötü neresi? Oğlum biz yıldık şöyle bir şey yapıyoruz. Holy crap. Oh my god. Wow. Bro, this is fucking lit, bro. Japan is fucking lit. So beautiful. I can reach up the water really works. I swear these toilets are designed to make you feel like you're piloting a spaceship when you're taking a poop. On our way down, one of us leaned into the elevator buttons and pressed every single one of them. And then this poor Japanese man hops on this elevator with like four foreigners and has to stop on every single floor with us on the way down. Oh, you're shooting a video game. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me again. What's up? <laughs> For that poor man, we just pressed every button. <laughs> he had to just sit there and keep clean clothes. <laughs> And then we got lost. Oh my god, we're lost. Down? Are we going? Why are we going down? <laughs> this keeps going. Oh yeah, we should go to second. Second? Oh, back up, back up. <laughs> Bro, why are these? What is this? How is it we not gone up a floor yet? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's right there. Okay, we made it. <laughs> After escaping the maze that was that building, we decided to hit up the arcade one last time before we left, because Japan has some of the coolest arcade machines out there. The train stopped going at around 11 p.m. in Japan, so it was time for us to get moving. Nikolai decided to head home a bit earlier to make sure a friend got home safe, so at this time it was just me and my other buddy walking the streets. After grabbing a delicious crepe from one of the many vendors, we made our way to the train station using my handy Apple Maps, which, as we all know by now, would never lead me astray. <laughs> oh my god. Shit, <laughs> ah. we just missed the train. Now we gotta wait here for like 20 more minutes. Oh well. Eventually, we got on the train and made it home safe and sound. And while our wallets definitely suffer today, you can't put a price on memories. But if you could, it'd be like 105 bucks.
Good morning, everybody. It is 3.30 a.m. I'm really sorry that I look like garbage right now, but I really wanted to get this video out because I'm gonna be really busy tomorrow and I just don't know when I can. So here I am pushing it uh, to try and get this out. Uh, sorry, it's been a while. I went to Kyoto and Osaka for the past five days, so I just had no time at all to work on anything. We uh, visited some really cool places, went to Universal Studios Japan, went to Nara, which you know has the deer that bow to you, and that's really cool, and yes, I have funny videos on that. Uh, we went to see a bunch of the Kyoto temples, so we have a lot of stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys, uh, but that's up next after this one. I'm a little sad because I missed out on Sodaisai, which is the really big festival that kind of happens at the school here. Uh, it took place this weekend while I was gone in Kyoto and Osaka. And while I am a little sad that I missed it, there are other festivals out there. And I would have also missed out on a really cool experience to go travel Japan. So it kind of balances out. Uh, but they did say that it was kind of like those animes that you've seen where like they've got like the stalls lined up and they're all selling food and stuff like that. So a little sad to have missed that, but I at least get to see pictures. Other than that, it's finally starting to get cold over here. You see I'm wearing my jacket. It's about 18 degrees Celsius, which I think is like 65 Fahrenheit. I'm trying to get used to that, and it's so freaking hard. They do everything differently over here. I'm talking millimeters, centimeters, kilometers, freaking centigrade, all these things that us Americans are not used to at all, and it's... We, I, we get clowned for it a lot here. They make fun of me for my ounces because I don't know what the hell beer in milliliters looks like. But um, other than that, yeah, you know, I'm planning on going to visit out more places, doing day trips more on the weekends because time's traveling fast, you know. It's already October 15th right now as of this video. And, you know, I've already been here for, what, a month and a half? So only like four more to go and I'm back home. So I just want to make sure that I go... And visit all these places it's kind of tough to balance time with club making the videos free time and just like classes in general but uh yeah i'm just trying to make the best of it having a good time still everything's cool and i have volleyball practice in like 12 hours so i'm going to go to bed good to see you guys thanks for watching i hope everyone's doing okay miss you guys take care we'll see you next time bye